cabinet top unit consists of the cabinet top bottom, part G, and the cabinet top rear, part GD, and the two cabinet top sides, parts GE. The cabinet top front component consists of the cabinet top front, part GA, the cabinet top front stopper, part GB, and the cabinet top rear bracket, part GC. Place part G on your working surface and then grab the two cabinet top sides, parts GE. Use the carpenter square to mark four equally spaced pencil marks on the top sides of parts GE. Run a bead of wood glue along the end of part G. Place part GE on part G, making sure they are flush with each other. Now use wood clamps and clamp the two pieces together, making sure both ends and sides are flush. Drive four two-inch long wood screws through part GE to secure it to part G, where you place the four pencil marks. Repeat the same steps to attach part GE to the other side of the cabinet top. You may build a stand made from the scrap plywood to hold up part G and make it easier to attach part GD. The cabinet top rear, part GD, will attach to the back of part G. Check to make sure both ends are flush with part GE, as well as the bottom side of part G. Run a bead of wood glue along the edge of part G and the ends of part GE. Place part GD back on top of part G and reposition it, making sure it is flush with part G before you clamp it. The top unfinished side of part GD may overhang part GE up to a quarter inch as in all vertical wall mount easy to wire Murphy beds. When building a horizontal Murphy bed, part GD and part GE will be flush in case you want to close the top of the cabinet to be used as a TV stand or bookcase. After you clamp the two parts together, Drive two inch wood screws at each end of part GD to attach it to part GE. Drive the rest of the two inch wood screws approximately every 10 inches, making sure the bottom finished edge of part GD is flush with part G. The number of screws will vary depending on the size of the bed you are building. Drive all screws flush. The construction of the cabinet top bottom is now complete. Now let's build the cabinet top stopper. Place part GA on top of part GB.
Check to make sure there is a 3 quarter inch spacing between part GA and GB on the finished side. You may also use a scrap piece of 1x2 to double check for the proper measurement. It is important to have at least 3 quarter inch difference between part GA and GB on the finished sides. If this measurement is less than 3 quarter inch, it may interfere with the footer end of the face panels when the bed is closed. You may run a bead of wood glue on part GB. Reposition the two parts together and flush them again. Clamp part GA and GB together. Flip the clamp parts over and drive equally spaced 1.25 inch wood screws into the back of part GB to secure to part GA. Remove the clamps. Notice the two unfinished edges of part GA and GB should be fairly flush. If not, you may trim it using a table saw if needed. Measure and mark 1 and 5 eighths on the back of part GB. Measure from the finished edge. This measurement is important, so double check your measurements. Grab the solid wood part GC and run a bead of wood glue along the narrow edge. Now place part GC on the back of part GB, making sure the edge of part GC is on the pencil marks. There should also be a minimum of 3 quarter inch between part GC and the ends of part GB. Clamp both parts together. Use 2 inch long wood screws to secure GC to the back of part GB. Drive the screws approximately 10 to 12 inches apart. In most cases, 4 to 6 screws will be enough. Remove the wood clamps. The construction of the cabinet top front stopper is now complete. The two components can be attached together at this time using 4 to 6 1 and a quarter inch wood screws. However, the two parts will have to be separated later during the assembly of the Murphy bed. Separating these two components is vital for the proper assembly of the Murphy bed and the installation of the Easy Lift piston system. Why not download your free copy of our step-by-step -step Murphy bed construction guide by clicking on the link below.
And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like these.